Foldable phones may be all the rage right now, but there is a more compelling use case for foldables that we haven't really seen just yet. And today, Lenovo has a surprise for us, the world's first foldable PC prototype. At its Accelerate conference today, the company unveiled the first prototype design, and we had an early preview with it. It doesn't yet have a name, although Lenovo did say it's meant to be part of the ThinkPad X1 lineup, and it's also intended to be a full-blown replacement for a conventional laptop. Since it's in such early stages of development, the company doesn't have a lot of specifics to share just yet. The device won't properly launch until 2020 at the earliest, and I'm expecting we'll hear more at CES. Until then though, Lenovo has a lot of secrets that it wants to protect. Here's what we do know and can tell you about. This is a 13.3 inch OLED display, which you fold halfway down the long side. Like the Galaxy Fold, it attaches magnetically after it snaps shut, and when you open it, it lays completely flat and doesn't have as obvious a crease as the smartphones we've seen so far do. Lenovo has actually put in a lot of effort into making its proprietary hinge and display work. Won't go into specifics though, but we can tell you just from our brief preview that it's pretty impressive how they were able to achieve that you know, imperfection-free display. Though the hinge was pretty sturdy, it was still easy enough for me to open and close, and holding it in one hand was very comfortable as I held it up kind of like a book in my left hand, and since Lenovo does include a Wacom digitizer, I was able to use my right hand and doodle on the screen. The entire thing was very responsive. And by the way, that aspect ratio is 4x3, which leaves you a lot more room to see more lines of text. Of course, you're not supposed to keep holding it in your hand, so if you want to put this on the table, you can use the built-in kickstand to prop it up, and then connect a Bluetooth keyboard to do all your other tasks like you normally would. That's what Lenovo is calling all-in-one mode, which is more like a desktop computer. But you can also use this ThinkPad device in laptop mode, which is when you put the device sort of on its back and then fold half of the screen up to face you. In this orientation, you can put a Bluetooth keyboard in front of the screen and then type away, even use sort of an on-screen keyboard on the lower half if you want, very similar to the yoga book that already Lenovo has made. This setup is pretty handy for say when you want to bang out some emails in the back of a cab or on the train or in an airplane. Now, one thing, I'm very excited about for this device is that Lenovo told us it will be an always-on, always-connected PC, but packing Intel power here, so you won't be running Windows on ARM like you would with Windows on Snapdragon, but you'd still be able to remain connected to the internet wherever you take this thing. In addition to that, Lenovo also told us that there will be dual speakers on this device, although it can't tell us if these will be Dolby Enhanced or not. Uh, you'll also have USB-C ports for uh, Again, it's not clear whether these will be used for charging or just for connectivity. This is an early stage prototype device, so I'm not going to blame Lenovo for not having all of the specs ironed out just yet. Lenovo was able to tell us that they are shooting for a whole day's worth of battery life, which is nice, but again, until we see this device in a more finished form, it's hard to kind of believe that claim. Lenovo will have to figure out a way to squeeze in a battery that will last that long while maintaining the sub two pound weight it's targeting for this device. Of course, as we've learned from Samsung's experience with the Galaxy Fold, there are a lot of intricacies you have to iron out with any folding screen. On the unnamed ThinkPad X1 folding device, Lenovo says it's added a durability layer to protect the screen from damages and this layer is going to be non-removable, so it won't be broken by something as simple as a reviewer peeling off a protector, for instance. Lenovo even said that because this will be under the ThinkPad line, that the device has to meet certain durability and quality standards that apply across all of that brand. That means when Lenovo is ready to show off this device for real, it should be pretty durable. One thing we did notice 
that also the Galaxy Fold has is when you snap the Lenovo folding device shut, there is still a small gap between the screen. When it's snapped shut though, thanks to a leather sort of covering, this device looks more like a moleskin notebook than a laptop that just folded over on itself. And I'm really impressed with the design here. It looks really nice. Since it's so early in the process, there's really not a lot to get that excited about just yet. I mean, I'm very intrigued by the premise here. A laptop that fits so easily in my purse or could potentially even fit in my pocket? Give me. But we'll have to wait again until 2020 to learn whether or not this is something that we should really get excited by. Until then, Lenovo's competitors have plenty of time to catch up and offer their own spins on what a foldable PC will look like.